everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and welcome to day 18 of Vlogmas. Yeah, long time no chat. I have been just feeling really under the weather and I don't know what we caught, but it has been something really nasty. We had the coughing thing the week before. We're still all coughing. We ended up catching something else. I think that's what set off my two days of migraines is some other thing because Steli was complaining Monday and then I started getting sick Tuesday with back-to-back -back migraines and then Livy started getting sick Friday. So Thursday night she complained about a headache and then Friday morning she was burning up and had a high fever and had a high fever pretty much all day Friday into Saturday and then Sunday today we ended up going to the Nutcracker. Thankfully she had been fever free so she was able to go with us but it was just it's been something else and she's still coughing and it's really sad and just hard to watch your kid be sick. So she's going to the doctor tomorrow. I'm going to have the doctor listen to her coughing because it just sounds so bad. Like just how congested her lungs sound. I'm hoping they can do something for us and not just be like, oh, it's a virus. You have to just kind of wait it out. I'm really hoping they can do something more. Um, it's just been like one thing after the other. And I know it's just this time of year, but I'm totally over it at this point. We did the nutcracker and that just wore her out. You know, she's no longer contagious, but she's still not 100%. And you could just really see it. After we were done, she was in the car, just kind of almost falling asleep. I was like, oh my poor baby, she just feels miserable. Um, so we're just dealing with sicknesses again. I'm hoping she's better by the time we have our class party this week, um, because I'm supposed to be the one hosting it. I'm the room mom, so I've got the party all planned up. I've got all the supplies ready to go. And I'm gonna be really, really sad if my kid has to miss it. It's like, we only have a few more days of school. Couldn't this have waited a few more days? Uh, that's all the family excitement. I've got a couple of nutcracker pictures we went with some dance team friends and that was really fun. We're all just pooped at this point so yeah end of the day we're just gonna knock out advent and infant before we do that though i franken planned last night i'm gonna save this for one of the vlogmas videos but i ended up franken planning and i'm super excited so this is my 2024 franken planner it goes january through june and then i will redo it again this is my current franken planner and i have loved it and when this one is done i will recoil this rainbow coil onto my Hello Kitty planner. This is the special edition, so it's got the Hello Kitty colors. This is Erin Compton, by the way. I'll link to everything, but I'm super excited about this one. I'm gonna play around with this one for 2024. I just love the color combo of that, and I want the rainbow coil on it, but it wasn't available. It didn't let you put the rainbow coil on it, so I'm glad I have two rainbow coils. I can stick it on there, so I'll have my Franken planner and this one as part of my lineup for 2024. Super excited about that. Okay, let's hit something here. We're doing day 18, and my chair squeaks. All right. This is a thick one. I think this is the other washi, which I will keep. I like all the washi stuff. So big, thick thing, and it is. It's the stamp shape washi, and it's super cute. I've been using it some in the advent book, so I'm gonna pick a blue swatch now. Let's see, we're getting down to everything. Ooh, this one was a really pretty one. This one's called Monte Graffa Sapphire, and this is one of the swatches I liked the best. So I'm excited to try this one out. We'll swatch that really quick. It is ink swatchy time. I definitely need to redo my nails, but I have not done it. I haven't had the energy. It's just like one thing after the other with sicknesses and holiday festivities. We ended up missing everything yesterday. There was a dance team party, and also one of my friends was throwing a party, and uh, we missed both of them. Um, so I just had to hang out at home while she was at the tail end of her fever. So here we go, day 18. I'm excited to be almost to Christmas. We're getting there very close. And then this next week is going to be the, the finishing up the school year. Each girl has a couple more days of school. And then it's just straight holidays and fun for the next almost three weeks. I think they're both out of school for nearly three weeks, which is fun. Okay, my cup ready. We're just gonna do this. I will add the name with the actual pen when I fill it up. This one has been really fun to write with. It gives such a really cool shift. Some of it shows up the darker color, some of it shows up the lighter, and it looks really cool across the page. So I will show that when I end up writing 
about yesterday here. And I'll fill it up with the, what is this one? The cotton candy, blue cotton candy. And then this is sapphire, which is gorgeous. This one's gorgeous. Look how beautiful that is. Dark and bright colored, beautiful. All right, that one looks good. We are done swatching. Let's go ahead and talk about today's video. And now let's go ahead and move into today's video. Today is an A5 planner comparison and the TRP planner. So the Tomori River Paper Planners, I've got a few to compare and I wanted to walk through them side by side to show you guys what they look like. A few of them will be in my 2024 lineup and I wanted to just show you guys the similarities and differences in the A5 size. Now I plan on doing a B6 and a Weeks comparison as well because I've got quite a few of each size planner to do, but that will be at a later time, probably not even Vlogmas. That'll probably be come January, but today we're going to walk through that A5 comparison and let's go ahead and hop into it. Hey everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life and today we are comparing A5 planners and this is all comparing things to the A5 Hobonichi Cousin. So I have two planners that I'm going to compare to this. I've got the Sterling Ink Common Planner and I also have the Wonderland 222. So both of these are very, very similar in style to the Hobonichi Cousin and I wanted to compare them so you guys can see the pros and cons of each variety of planner if you're interested. I feel like each one has its own pros and cons so I wanted to just do a comparison video for these guys. That's honestly the only reason I got this one. I don't really have interest in using this one every day and I'm pretty sure the other two are gonna be in my planner lineup this year. So I wanted to just do a comparison video and talk about each one and pros and cons of each. So that's what this video is gonna be. Let's go ahead and dive into the Tomoe River Paper Planner rabbit hole and talk about these A5s. All right, we are talking about Tomoe River Paper Planners. Now there are some major similarities and differences in all of the options. So I ended up pulling out a few other options. I ended up getting my full year A5 from Sterling Ink. So that's also gonna be shown in this video. And Unfortunately, Wonderland 222 has two A5 options and one of them does not have a daily page. So generally speaking, I'm talking comparing planners that have a full page a day option in the planner. There are options for a more compact size with the Wonderland 222. And then there's the all-in-one, which includes all of the daily pages for an entire year. So you can see the difference in the sizing there between the all year, daily pages and then the more compact version. And then Sterling Ink also has a compact version which would be about the size of a half year. So with Sterling Ink there's three options. There's the half year book so you get two of the books and each one is a six month book. You also get a compact version which is the same thickness as a half year. It just has the full year of weekly pages and then just some daily pages in the back. I actually have a compact option in a different size. This is the TN size. I'll show you, I'm pretty sure it's 121. Yeah, 121 pages in a compact. So it has all the monthly pages, all the weekly pages, and then just 121 of the pages in the back that could be used as a daily page. And so that would be the size of it. You can see those two are the same thickness. And then they have the full year in one book. It has enough pages in the back for a daily page. So there are lots of different options in the Sterling Ink. So for comparison's sake, we've got those ones. And then also the Hobonichi. So Hobonichi has the Avec, which comes in the two half year books that's thinner. I do not have that option, but it's gonna be about the same kind of thickness, like half of a year. And then they have the full year cousin. They also have different ones called Hon, and I have an A6 Hon. It has the cover that's a fancier, thicker, more durable cover, whereas the other options have a more like chipboardy, card stocky type of cover. It's paper backed, whereas this one's a really you know, kind of fancy embroidered fabric type of cover and it's made to not really be covered up in one of those like jelly plasticky type of covers. Now all of these options you can find plastic covers from various companies. I ended up covering my half year sterling ink and it doesn't quite fit. This is an Erin Condren one for a petite planner and it doesn't quite fit all of the way. So you really have to be specific with measuring the book or using the dimensions that the planner companies give you to get the proper size jelly cover for your planner because I totally just didn't get the right size. So that's always an option. These ones are all made with more flimsy type of materials. The sterling ink this year is PU leather, whereas the Hobonichi comes with the Hone, which is the more durable cover, and also these card stocky type of heavy paper kind of covers. And then the Wonderland 2-2 is also like a heavily uh, paper piece, but this one's glossy. This one's more of like a matte finish, soft feel. And then depending on what color you get, you're gonna get a different texture on the sterling ink ones. But this one, it's more of a crosshatch design. And then a lot of the other ones come with a pebble design like this one. Pebbly looking. 
So you can feel the texture on the Sterling Inks aside from the green one. This one's smooth to the touch and the Wonderland 222 are very soft to the touch. Depending on what cover options you like, Hobonichi has a lot of options in the hone style, lots of different cover options. Sterling Ink has like five or six color choices and Wonderland 22 also has around the same kind of thing, like four to six color choices and they change year to year. So far, Sterling Ink has had two iterations of planners and they've added more colors the second year. And Hobonichi changes their covers every year as well. So if you're talking strictly 2024, you can look on the websites and see all the different options. If we're talking strictly the orientation where they have the monthly, weekly, and daily pages, these two options do not have those things dispersed, where Wonderland 222 does have those things dispersed. And what I mean by that is when you're looking at these books, first you're going to get the monthlies all clumped together, monthlies all clumped together. Then you will get the weekly pages all clumped together back to back all the year long. And then you get to those daily pages all in the back. So you have your monthlies, then your weeklies, then your daily pages chunked together. And same with the Sterling Ink, you're going to get the same format of options. I've decorated a little bit in this one. Uh, we've got all the monthlies up at the front. Then we have our weekly pages all in one big chunk of weekly pages. And then you have your daily pages in the back. A big difference between these two, they're pretty much the same thing. There's two major differences between these two specifically. The Sterling Ink is only grayscale. You can see there's no bit of color. The only color in here is the color I added with stickers. This is all just grayscale, black and white, very neutral color options. The Hobonichi is full of color. So if you're looking at the weekly and the monthly pages, you always have this Sunday in a red color and their neutral color is the navy. You can see navy versus strictly black and white grayscale in the sterling ink. So if you want something that's way more neutral, Sterling Ink is a great option. If you want something that's full of color, the Hobonichi is a great option. So this is what all the monthlies look like. The weeklies also have that red on the page. You can see it has the weekend more dark. It has the Saturday, the navy, and the Sunday, the red. Holidays will also be in red, and you can see there's red on the little monthly calendar as well. Everything else is that navy color until you move into your daily pages. And that comes to the second thing is these have dated daily pages, but for these daily pages, the whole entire page is printed in whatever tab color you have. So January, all the pages are this color. February, all the pages are brown. Then you've got purple, red or pinkish color, green, like all the way through the whole year. Every month is a different color, you can see. The whole entire page is done in that color. So if you want color, this is an option. It's a very bright in your face and it's a great option if you want all the color. Now this one, completely free of all the color. You can add your own stickers, but it's a very neutral leaning planner. The biggest difference other than that, the second big difference is these pages are not dated. So all these pages in the back, you do have a page a day, but you have to add your own dates. And some people, like the freedom that that gives you is you don't have the dates, but if you're using a page a day, it gets pretty repetitive to write your date. So I can totally see where this one would be a great option too, because every page has the date. And this one is a complete blank slate, except it has a number at the bottom. This one has a lot of other stuff. So it's got your quote, whoever said the quote, and then your little monthly calendar taking up quite a bit at the bottom margin. And then at the top, you have that big date header, which takes up a lot of the first couple of rows. You have checklist boxes, you have hourly boxes. Of course, those are discrete, so you really don't have to pay attention to them or use them, but it does take up some of your page real estate, whereas this is a complete blank slate here. This one does have lots more structure to it, and it does take up quite a bit of the grid spacing down at the bottom. Some people like that, some people don't like that. If you need a full page, you're going to want more like this where you get the full page but if you want a schedule an hourly thing this one's a great option because it has that built into the page now right now I'm just strictly talking these two because the Wonderland 222 options are a little bit different and I want you guys to see them too and we'll pull out again the sterling ink to compare this so they have two options for their weekly spread here is the one that's the unstacked weekends. And this one is most like the Hobonichi Cousin and the Sterling Ink Common Planner. And they also have this option for a stacked weekends. And now this is the way the color printing looks on the 2024s. This is a 2022. So this is two years old as far as the actual color 
options. It'll look like this color printing, but this is the layout option. So if you don't need a whole lot of weekend space and you want a bigger daily section for the weekdays, this one's a great option. So this one actually will hold those 1.5 inch stickers that other larger form vertical planners will be able to use like Aaron Condren's and Moxie Live. All those vertical columns are 1.5 inch thick and these are the same. So if you want to use those kind of kits, this is a great option if you don't need that weekend space or if you wanna use the kits they label Hobonichi Cousin because this is the original, you can use the unstacked weekends option. So these columns are the same width as the Hobonichi columns, which are also the same width as the Sterling Ink columns. They're all the exact same width. You can use the same Hobonichi Cousin 1.3 inch wide stickers for all three of these options. So going back to this one, I'm gonna insert this back in. So this one's the only one that's truly a dispersed planner. So you get your monthlies with your weeklies, and then the daily pages are all chunked at the end. If you want something that's grayscale, like completely grayscale, Sterling Ink. If you want something that's more of like a neutral, but it's still kind of like taupey, warm leaning, the Wonderland 222 is gorgeous. I love the taupey leaning color scheme of this one. And then if you want more color, you got the Hobonichi. So each one of these offers the same layout option with the vertical columns, with the exception of the Wonderland 222 offering that stacked weekend option, which gives you the wider columns, which is great for some people. But these ones all have pretty much about the exact same layout. Like they all have the headers up at the top. They all give you some space at the top where they put the holidays. And this one has a few grids up at the top as well after that margin. This one gives you the space up at the top as well. They all have the columns. Their numbers are gonna be a little bit different. So for instance, the Wonderland 222 goes 7 a.m. to 21, which is military time. And then Sterling Ink goes 6 a.m. to 12 a.m., which is midnight down at the bottom. And then the Hobonichi Cousin goes 5 a.m. to 4 a.m. So this is 24 hours here, because that line down here would be 5 a.m. again. So this one gives you 24 hours on it. This one gives you pretty close to 24 hours. And this one gives you most of the day, but not quite 24 hours. The big difference in the three of these is the Wonderland 222 uses military time, but I feel like of all the numbers, that one's the most discreet. Sterling Inc. darkened their numbers, so it's less discreet now. If you don't want to use the hours at all, you wouldn't have to on any of these, but it's way easier to just ignore them on the Wonderland 222 because it's printed much lighter than the other two planners. And now all of them also offer a space on the sidebar because there is that extra space. So let's compare sidebars real quick. There's these two and there's the Wonderland 222. They look pretty much identical. I've got a print error on this page, I think. Okay, so I had a scuff or a print error, but there's a monthly calendar at the top of each of these and then there's a column. So it looks about the same. Now, the Wonderland 222 gives you a more defined box at the bottom. Sterling Ink gives you the space, but there's not any sort of division at the end of that, so you can use it however you want. And these lines are so discreet, you don't have to use them. And then I feel like Hobonichi Cousin, it has the most distinct lining and the times go all the way down to the bottom. You can really plan this however you want and ignore those numbers on there. So here are the daily pages in the Wonderland 222. This one has like the second most structure. They're not completely dated pages. They do give you a 24 hour time schedule. They have these little divisions on the page, but again, all of it's so discreet. You can ignore any of it and you have plenty of real estate to work with on this page. The Hobonichi Cousin is the one that is the most colorful and the most structured out of all of these three daily pages. Flip to another Sterling Ink as well. It's just blank. So it really depends on what you're going for, which one you'll prefer. Some people find having the dated daily pages really intimidating because if you want to skip days or you don't want to do anything on the weekends, you still have those pages in there dated and it kind of adds a little pressure to some people. I could see where people feel like that. I just find it really tedious to add the dates to everything. I don't really mind that much, but I would love these pages to be dated. And I know people like the Sterling Ink because they're not dated. So that really walks you through. Each one of them has their own stuff in the front. They all have a yearly spread. Some of them give you various blank pages. Um, they all have these kind of trackers. I'll show you the trackers are a little bit different here and there. They all have the same kind of thing. Like here's the Sterling Ink. You get the yearly page, some blank pages for indexing, a goal setting page. They're all a little bit different. This one's tracking is broken into quarters. It's got a goal setting page and then the little trackers here, not like one year of goal tracking. 
So that's what their tracker looks like, whereas theirs is broken all the way down in here. And then they have this kind of gold tracking as well. Gives you that quarterly pages with a monthly spread. And then they have these habit tracking type of things. So this one gives you a lot more like structure, habit tracking type of stuff. And then when you're moving into your monthlies, it gives you goal pages also. So it gives you a reflection page and like a goal setting page on there as well. So you get lots of little extras in each of the planners. This one I just showed you the habit tracking pages and the one goal setting spread. It has that goal setting page and then all these overview habit tracking type of pages each quarter. So they break it down a little bit differently. And then for the Hobonichi cousin, it gives you the same sort of habit tracking type of pages in the front here. And then you move right into your monthlies. All of them are a little bit different. I feel like this one gives you a good goal breakdown page with that grid thing. And then the quarterly pages, this one also gives you those quarterly pages, but it has the additional habit tracking type of pages as well. If you want to track some habits, that one's a great one. It gives you one of those every month. And as far as back pages, I feel like this is not something most people care about. This one goes straight to the end with those daily pages. Sterling Inc. also goes straight to the end with those daily pages. And then Hobonichi Cousin gives you a couple of extras and these extras change every year. And it's kind of weird and interesting things and some people really like them and I feel like most people are like me where they're like, yeah, I'm not gonna use hardly any of this. Okay, so you get to your daily pages into the daily pages. You get a couple more little gridded pages. You get these various extra things. Timetables, graph paper, day reds, hundred list, um, interview with myself, different recipes, caring for your eyes, words to remember, uh, year long habit tracking thing, uh, tips and tricks, gift ideas, addresses, uh, personal information in case your book gets lost, all the Hobonichi information. So I feel like a lot of that's just kind of fluff that most people aren't really going to care about or use very much, but those are the main contender options. There are a few options from Aura Estelle, but they are not the type of planners that give you the monthly, weekly, daily. Most of them are like this kind of thing where this is just going to be your weekly spread. This one is your weekly spread plus a gridded page on the opposite side. And this one is called Vertical Weekly Classic. And this one happens to be undated, but it gives you uh, like a room for a two page spread. So I don't know if you can even see it because it is so light, but it's like a half a column per day type of design. It's undated. So there's your monthly spread, but everything's super duper light and hardly able to see and it's undated. So I don't count that as, you know, a true monthly, weekly, daily type of option, but they do have a five Tomoe River paper planner options as well in weekly spreads. So that's just something to note if you want to check out the Aura Estelle website. I will have a haul from them. I ordered from them for Black Friday and it should actually get here today, but that'll be a video upcoming in this Vlogmas. But I wanted to just sit down and compare all of these. As far as sizing goes, they are pretty much all about the same size. You can see they're all pretty much lined up the exact same size. Thickness-wise, I feel like the Wonderland 222 is a hair thicker than the other two. It looks a little bit chunkier, and then this would be more of your compact size. And same with the half years or compact sterling inks. They're about half the size of these thicker ones. And now as far as cool edge options, that's only sterling ink, and they give you the option for the gold edge or the white edge. The other ones all just come with white edges. And there you go, you can see the little thumb tabs on all of them. You do get the thumb tabs on the um, Sterling ink as well. It's just harder to see with that gilding, but they're on there. So there you go. There's my comparison of all of them. I plan on actually using the Wonderland 222 for habit tracking and fitness and wellness and self-care and symptom tracking, period tracking, all that good stuff. I plan on using the Sterling ink A5 for my sticker sneeze planner and just more fun stuff, journaling in the back and note-taking, random lists of things, collections, all that kind of ideas and stuff go in this one. And I'm not using this one at all so far. I don't know if I'm gonna use it as like my daily scratch to-do list, but I'm just not digging the color personally. I know a lot of people love, love, love this one. And I happen to really like their covers. I will be using the A6 size because I love that Sea Dragon cover, but I actually have a cover and I actually have stuck all three of these planners in here, they all completely fit. Actually, the Wonderland 222 is the one I have had in this one in the last week or so. This one's been in here. I've had my Sterling Ink half here in here, but I'm gonna be sticking this one in. They all fit in this Hobonichi cover. So any of the ones that fit the Hobonichi Cousin will fit the other two planners, which is great. Same with the sticker kits. Any of Hobonichi Cousin marked sticker kits fit in the other A5 options. 
So that's always really fun. And you can find accessories and stickers and all that stuff that go together. But there you go, all of them will fit in the cover. So you just have to be more specific about the jelly covers because they're all slightly different thicknesses for those jelly covers. They have to be more form fitting, but I wanted to do this comparison, walk you through all of the A5 planner options that I have used and seen and got to review. So I hope you guys liked this look at the planners. If you do have questions or anything, let me know and I can do future videos talking about these planners as well. Of course, you're gonna see them in Plan With Me's and various reviews and planner topic type videos in the future for 2024. But I wanted to do the little quick comparison in case you're kind of interested in these or on the fence of which one you're gonna like better. I hope that gave you more of an idea of what each one of them offers because they're all slightly different, but basically, you know, the same kind of options. And today's giveaway is actually a soft bound academic planner from Erin Condren. Now this one is only gonna be good for the half of the year. This is an academic based calendar, but you could also repurpose the first part of the book. So this one's really pretty and it has um, like checklists on all the days that work great with the dot pen. So I think I have maybe dot pen something here and there, but I have not used this at all. So all these, other months can be repurposed. If you just cover up the numbers here and there, you can totally repurpose this. The second half of this is already perfectly dated for 2024. So definitely it's still a great worthy planner and their lay flat soft bound ones are really good. Like I feel like it lays pretty decently flat and yeah, I have one of their soft bounds from 2023 that I really, really enjoyed. So I thought I could pass this along and somebody could get some good use out of it. It is the Harbor color. So it's really pretty and it's got some like marbling look and it's got a nice little texture on it. Be sure to enter through the raffle copter in the description below. It's got all the legal details and all the terms and conditions, all that stuff is there. And bonus entries are also available through that link. So hope you guys liked today's video and today's giveaway. Like, subscribe, and I'll catch you tomorrow.